I'm going to turn the Deus 2 on here in a minute. I'm going to talk first. The Deus 2 has a lot of filters that you can adjust to attenuate electrical magnetic interference. Um, even also to uh, conductive interference when you're when you have your coil too close to the ground when you're scrubbing the grass um, you can get conductive interference maybe like by droplets of dew on the ground I I have dew I have dew on the ground a lot in the morning in the um, pretty much for most of the year and it can wreak havoc on most detectors that elect that um, that conductive interference I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna um, show you a few tricks that I've learned th throughout the months. Um, I've had this Deus 2 for about 11 months here, and I've learned a few tricks on attenuating the EMI. Uh, the the programs are frequency specific, so I'm I'm in a really high EMI spot right here, and I'll show you the the impact of some of these settings these filters on this machine um how it impacts your your tones and the emi um your your, your instability of the detector the sensitivity is really intertwined and interdependent and interconnected with all these other settings here. The other settings are um, fine tuning. Your sensitivity is a major, major setting um, that really can impact your other filters. So you're gonna have to make some more adjustments. If you go down with your sensitivity, you're gonna have to adjust some other filters to, to still run the, the coil hot to go deep, be very sensitive to smaller targets, um, and to dial the machine in. So I'm gonna turn it on here, and I'm gonna show you how much of an impact these smaller these smaller settings, um, these fine tuning settings have um, without adjusting my sensitivity. I'm in high EMI spot here, so it's gonna go crazy. Hold it above the soil there. So in fast program, so stock fast program, all these are stock programs here. I'll go to the Goldfield program, Goldfield program, really, really super sparky program. I'll show you the first, the first filter that I introduce on this machine when I'm in pitch tones is the threshold. And I'll show you how, how sense, how much of an impact this threshold has on EMI. Right here. Go to the threshold. Right here. It's at zero right now. I'll go up with it. 20 threshold without doing anything, right? Without doing, without dropping my gain down, without um, adding some um, rejection there. It, it dropped that, that um, interference, those, that, that falsing interference, that instability. It, it dropped it down quite a bit there. So, go back to zero threshold. Right. Very sensitive to EMI. The, uh, the Goldfield and, of course, the Relic program. Right? The Relic program is going to be very sensitive. Watch. I'll just change the threshold. Just change the threshold. That's all I'm going to do. It's at zero now. Now I'll drop the auto response down. Auto response. Auto response is, um, I'm going to lift it off, off the ground here. Auto response two. So the odd response is basically a size. It's an amplifier. It amplifies the size and depth of the target. Um, mainly the depth of the target. I, I like having my, my odd response down low so I can really get a good perception of the depth of the target. If I raise that um, odd response up too high, which I'm decreasing the filter, when I raise that, when, when, I, when, I, when I raise that, auto response up I'm decreasing that filter so I cannot tell how deep that target is 
and I'm gonna get a lot more EMI, right? I'm at two right now, I'll go to five. Five. It's a huge difference. The auto response has a huge difference. And this is the same with all these programs. This is just this is just a sensitive program here. Um, I'm, not, I'm not getting a lot of EMI here right, right now. So the, the sensitivity is the last thing I will change on this detector. Most of the time, I don't even touch the sensitivity. I just go jack it up, you know, up to 93 or 94, and then adjust the other filters because I want to show you. I'll go to a fast program here. Because it's already set up in pitch tones, right? Watch. I'll, I'll, I'll frequency scan here. I'll frequency scan. Watch. Frequency scan. Right here. Give it a second here. It's going to eventually drift back into the EMI. I don't have to touch, even touch my sensitivity here. I will drop, I will raise the threshold up. I'll, I'll drop my auto response down first because I don't want that much EMI. See, it, it, it adds a filter, adds just a little bit of filter and I can tell the depth a lot better. Right? See the EMI is starting to drift back and forth everywhere. The biggest impact that I've found that has on EMI is the threshold on this machine. You don't have the threshold in two, three, four, five tone, but you have it in pitch tones. Watch this. This not just, just calms it right down. I'm still at high gain right here, right? Now I'll go to another filter that has a big impact on it. Reactivity. Reactivity um, has a little bit impact on it, but reactivity, I have to have my reactivity at three because if I have mine at 2.5 or two, I won't be able to penetrate through my thick, dense clay here. I'll just get a lot of falsing and um, it just doesn't go very deep. I have to have my, my reactivity up pretty high on all my machines. You know, I just have very dense mineralized clay here. So I'll go to, um, the discrimination here in this discrimination settings and I'll, I'll introduce some silencer to it. Watch, I'm at two right now. I'll, I'll, I'll decrease the filter. So I'll, zero silencer. That's usually what I, pretty much all the time I have my silencer at zero so I can really hit on those odd shaped targets and get some extra depth and hit on those um, hard to find targets um, next to iron. So watch, I'll raise the silencer up. Six, just calmed it right down, six silencer. But you know, the more filters that you're adding, the less um, sensitive that coil will be to um, smaller targets and um, the slower you're going to have to swing. Um, and you know, a lot of people think that um, you discriminate, you discriminate a target out, or you drop your gain down. I'll show you right here, right here. This is aluminum right here. My detector still knows it's it's still detecting this metal right here, no matter what settings I have, no matter how many filters, even if I drop my gain all the way down to zero, it still knows that this metal is still there. You're not decreasing your power when you drop your gain down. You are putting a filter on, on that um, so you cannot hear that. Your detector is still is still affected by that piece of aluminum right there, no matter what settings you have. It's just, you want to, do you want to mute that or do you want to hear it? Right. I've showed you guys that in the past, right? The sensitivity does not make your detector any less powerful. It just mutes your machine. So you can't hear that, right? 
But when you mute your machine like that, when you when you are dropping your gain down, you're less sensitive to small targets. So, and even your even your volume level, your volume level or your program, because they're frequency specific, those are also filters too. I use them as filters, and that's pretty pretty much the last resort that I have. The last setting that I have to resort to to get rid of EMI is my my um frequency change which is basically just go to a different program and dial that whole different program up dial it in um because i don't want to drop my gain down that's the last thing i want to do i i still want to be sensitive to those small targets so all that is interconnected with your sensitivity your sensitivity is like a global filter and when you adjust that sensitivity down way way down all your other filters have to go up and you have to know which ones to adjust. You know, if you want to get smaller targets or swing faster or penetrate deeper in hot soil, you're going to have to lift your re reactivity speed up. If you want to dig your targets out faster and know your depth of the target, adjust your auto response down lower. You know, they're, they're all filters. They're all filters, man. Even the volume level, the volume level on this machine is a filter too. When you adjust your volume up level, that is also um, that is also making your threshold um, tone go down too. So, you know, they're all filters, man. It's a balancing act. But the threshold is the biggest thing for this machine here um, that can really just eliminate not eliminate but attenuate most of the EMI that you're getting and then your silencer and your auto response you know I, I like digging targets out fast I like getting them out you know getting in the rhythm and and getting some data you know collecting data digging targets out and see if I really what I, what I really want to do you know what what frequency am I what program can I put it in to get those deeper targets out or cherry pick targets out well, thank you for watching.